crude oil. It's without doubt the most important fuel resource in modern industrial society, necessary for everything from producing plastics to producing fuel. And it's getting harder and harder to get hold of. Traditional pumping of crude reserves is becoming more and more difficult and expensive. Tar sands are hugely polluting and inefficient. And biofuel takes up vast tracts of land which then can't be used for food crops. Short of finding a better source of fuel, a long-term solution is needed. And scientists from the US Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory have come up with a remarkable solution. Using a watery slurry of algae, they've discovered a way to efficiently, cheaply and very quickly create crude oil. Algae fuel isn't a new idea, but it's been beset by problems in the past, namely that it's required to be dry before being processed, which is expensive and slow. The PNNL solution doesn't need it. The biomass can be up to 90% water and is dried as part of the process, heated and crushed under high pressure, as in a pressure cooker. Better yet, most of the byproducts can be used to grow more algae, making the process extremely efficient. To power the US's every need using soy based biodiesel, half of the country would have to be turned over to bean growth. By comparison, just 0.42% would be needed for algae. That's pretty extraordinary. So promising is the new system that the DOE has already signed up a partner, Genifuel, to scale up the process to commercial levels where it's competitive with traditional crude oil sources. And that is extremely exciting. OK, the pollution element of burning fossil fuels remains, but the infrastructure to operate vehicles on oil has been in place for a century. And it works. And since algae can potentially be used to clean polluted water or grown off biological waste, it's environmentally a pretty neat idea.